Hello everyone and welcome to the Rose Tarot Girls. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the Zodiac Cusp of Cancer Leo, the Cusp of Oscillation. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100% okay. Now if this is the case, please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light, for guiding me to finally share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So, Cusp of Oscillation, let's get started. A shuffle, meditate over and pray to your cards. They are now ready for a good read. There's bubbles in the room, so please excuse me if she gets um, a bit barky. Right, so now your cards are ready. Let's take a look as to what's going on in your lives at the moment. Cancel the uh, cusp of oscillation. So let me give you a small gist about your cusp. If your son is on the cancer side, you're less uh, shy and a bit more inclined to share gifts with creativity, gifts and creativity with others. And uh, you may also enjoy performing, yes, doing creative stuff that normally a cancer would refrain from or pull back from yes and if your son is on the Leo side you may feel a bit insecure but about self-expression and it seems to reveal because you might feel that it seems to reveal too much and you also tend to be more vulnerable yes so you are sharing your kind of exchanging your traits a little bit here and there so let's see what's going on in your life. There's been a bit of conflict, yeah, and interest over here, from what I can see, with your person, yeah, and they want to make, and they are, they are put in a position where they have to make a decision regarding this situation, yes. They want a brand new start with you they want to offer you stability and in this relationship and also a bit of love but you feel as though the love is not true yes you feel as though there's a lot of love lost here but you're not really sure if you're in a position to work on this relationship again mm -hmm. why is that it is because you feel you may have sacrificed a bit too much and you're coming into a lot of realizations, yes? You've been through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain in this relationship and you're wondering if it really is worth your time even reviving this relationship back to life. As for your person, I can see they do. They do want to start again with you. They want to offer you stability, they want to offer you passion, yes, but you feel as though there's not enough love to get this going forward. Mm. 
you instead are focusing on your stability on your own, okay? You're rebuilding your life in a way where you can depend on yourself instead of depending on someone else for your happiness, right? So it may have been a very codependent cool relationship that you were in with this person. As for your person, they wish to heal this relationship. They are going through a healing process as well. They are going through a moment of realization as well. Yes, and they're hoping that things would change for the better with you. As for you, yes, you want to move away from all the conflicts and all from all the um, bad times to do with this person. Yes, and to do with this relationship. You want to move away from all the negativity and you want to take control of your life. There's something about fatal attraction over here. Mm. Says here, the red rose whispers of passion. Mm. So, from what I can see, you want to take control of your life and you not only the other areas of your life but also your love life. You do love this person but you're not sure if they're ready for you. <laughs> so you're, not, you're literally holding yourself back. You're not showing them that, you're, that you do love them because you feel as though if you do, yeah, they will take your love for granted again. Yes, they might get complacent again in love. They see a lot of happiness with you. They feel as though you're there uh, stable forever after. Yeah, they feel a lot of stability with you. Mm -hmm. And they're quite passionate. So whatever may have gone down in the past between you two, your person wants to apologize for it. Yes, they're quite regretful of whatever went down in the past between you two okay and they want to start on a brand new level there's a lot of aces on their side yeah they want a brand new start with you and this is their decision this is their decision the universe is playing a part in this as well because whatever this however this breakup happened yeah the level it happened on was very, very painful for you. And this pain calls for a path to open up, a pathway to awakening. So you're looking at life from a different point of view. Your intuition has, uh, 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 your intuition is more on point, yes, with things that's going on around you. You're more in tune with the universe. You're more in tune with the energies around you, okay? It's caused a pathway for awakening in your life. So you're looking at things from a different perspective. There's something about finances and career over here that's affecting your life. So your person over here I can see is, yeah, ooh, your person over here I can see is um, willing to start brand new and willing to change their ways, yes, and offer the stability that you need in a relationship. Now I can see that someone may have had a bad habit over here, a spending habit. Yes, that may have caused um, your finances to kind of dwindle. It may have been a spending habit, or gambling, or something of the sort. Somebody of you likes to take, uh, likes to take, uh, sorry, <laughs> likes to take risks when it comes to money, investments. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, it's the risks that have been taken in the past has not been fruitful, you know? It's negatively impacted your finances. And this is causing a bit of conflict in your relationship, or massive conflict in your relationship, and conflict in interest is what I can see, yes? And you're taking um, action on this. You're making a decision as well that you're not going to tolerate this anymore, yes? that you're not going to tolerate this anymore. So somebody over here may have been 
uh, investing their money, finances somewhere. And I can see it clearly over here that you may have been waiting for this person to change their ways. So, mm, you may have been waiting for your person to change their ways. Yes. As for your person, yeah, they're coming to the realization that you are their happiness and you have with a lot of joy, yes, and they have lost an opportunity with you. They have lost this opportunity with you. Okay, because now you're focusing on yourself. You've given them enough time. Yeah, you waited uh, long enough. I think this person was involved with you. It's very, this is becoming very clear now. This person was involved with you as well with somebody else. Now, the somebody else, were, were they a love interest? Or were they uh, some kind of um, obligation from the past? Let's find out. Okay, this person may have been some kind of obligation from the past. It could be a child or it could be their ex. Yeah, it could be some kind of um, maybe to the courts if they were married before, uh, they would have to uh, make a lump sum of amount, payment, payment of uh, amount or something to the other person. So still, it kind of still ties them to the past and this is something that's not sitting well with you because you feel as though from your point of view you feel as though they're having the best of both worlds yeah whereas you want them fully invested in your relationship and not partly invested in your relationship there's no romantic relations yeah this is just some obligation that they have to fulfill that is still tied to them from their past you feel some change is needed, yeah, and you're willing to move ahead and away from this relationship as fast as possible because you feel it's not serving your life, it's not serving your purpose in life any good, right? And you just want to move away. As for your person, yeah, they're a bit self-indulgent at the moment, yes, they do love you and everything, but their decision that they made is not being communicated to you at the pace it should be. So there's some kind of a distance, emotional distance happening here. Yes. As for you, you're more focused on, uh, you're preparing yourself for change in a way. You're preparing yourself for a breakup, yeah? It's not at the final stage from your side. You're just preparing yourself. What do I mean by that? You're concentrating on your finances and career. Yeah, your uh, creative pursuits, whatever is get, uh, getting you money into your life. Yes, stability is more important. Financial stability is what you're focusing on at the moment. Because you may have realized that you may have been a bit codependent on this person. Yeah, and now that if you have to be on your way and alone, you are in fact preparing to be stable on your own. Yes. You feel as though you may have been giving a bit too much to this person, yeah, uh, in, investing a bit too much emotionally and neglecting the other areas which could bring you a lot of success. And now you're kind of redoing everything and focusing on your finances. Truths and roses have thorns about them, so truth heals. However painful it's going to be for you, you are kind of moving forward with the truth in reality, yes? And you know, you can feel, you can smell the change, yeah, in the air is coming your way. And you feel as though it is the right, ta uh, right time for you, sorry, to be moving ahead and forward in your life, basically focusing on yourself. As for your person, they are... As for your person, they feel you need the space and time to kind of recover from whatever news if whatever happened here, yeah, and they do love you, but they feel as though they need 
to balance themselves internally as well emotionally balance themselves because they may have had this outburst they may have been an outburst which was on an emotional level yes they are too conflicted in within themselves yes probably they feel too burdened with whatever is going on in their lives yeah apart from you so come apart as from your partner is on the horizon, yes, so separation is on the cards. You feel uh, backstabbed and betrayed by this person because uh, promises were broken, promises were not kept, yeah. But for some reason, at the moment, you feel fulfilled. You may have thought that this person bought, you may have felt as though this person, let me rephrase, you may have felt as though this person was your soulmate, this person was your forever after, but and they bought you a lot of fulfillment during the good times, okay? But you feel as though you were manipulated. You were not given, you didn't see the whole story clearly. So perhaps some truths that came out when you all were together in this relationship was not revealed prior when you all were dating, for example, yes? Getting to know each other face. So, they may have hidden some truths from you which came out later on in this relationship and kind of burdened you, yes? So probably some information about their past and their links to their past was kept secret from you, whereas you had different expectations from this relationship and from this person, which did not in the end uh, work out. What I can see, you're being asked to lay your trust in the universe, okay, with regards to your life. As for your person, they're going, ah. as for your person, yeah, even outwardly, even though they might come across as confident and is a go-getter and as a person who gets what they want, yes, internally, they are going within and they're going to an awakening phase as well. Yes, they are very heartbroken with the situation. Uh, they're caught between a rock and a hard place. Why? It's a very simple decision that I see they have already made. But I think you're keeping them at bay. You're not ready for this. They're not meeting your expectations. They're not meeting your expectations in the way you would like a relationship to be. So there's a conflict of interest here. Mm. At some point you may have seen yourself, you know, this may have, you may have seen yourself being in a long-term relationship with this person or this person may have promised you, yeah, a marriage or settling down together they painted a fancy story for you but you're going with the reality of things now you're holding on to the truth you're preparing yourself for change and you're rolling with the reality of the situation it's very really Leo like yes and you're moving forward you're asked to lay your trust and faith in the universe when it comes to this movement forward. You just want this past fears, past whatever happened in the past to end, yes? But internally, you're feeling uh, very um, stressed about your future. Stressed and... Uh, like you're in your head most of the time, thinking about how to move things forward, yeah, in your life. But at the same time, it's pulling you into directions, you see? At the same time, you are thinking about this relationship, about the past, yeah, if things could be better. So you're oscillating, you're going forwards and backwards, and backwards and forwards, right? You are the cusp of oscillation. So all I can see right now, the universe is asking you to listen to the intuition because the veil is very thin. You've gone through an awakening phase. So your first chakra has opened up, crown chakra. So 
There you go. As for your partner, you need to listen to your intuition, yes? As for your partner, yes? They're pursuing... Oh, God. Give me a minute. Okay. As for your partner, they're feeling quite content where they are at the moment, yes? Because uh, they feel as though they're not losing anything by uh, not being clear with you. So strange why your partner is behaving this way. It's becoming, uh, it's more like a self-preservation process for your partner. They're not thinking about us, they're, they're thinking about I, you know what I mean? It's more about them than about you both together. They have feelings for you, they love you and everything, yeah, they want to make things right. But at the same time, when it comes to speaking with you, yeah, being clear about things with you, they go into self-preservation mode because they feel as though you're not going to like what they have to say about things. They'd rather sweep things under the carpet than confront them and, you know, face it and discuss about it. Communicate, yeah, the truth. The universe is asking you to choose wisely whatever decision you're going to make with this person, okay? At the same time, you are going through a healing process, yeah, in your life, in your being. Take it easy, take it slow when it comes to you, okay? You're in a bit of a turmoil internally, yeah, so take it easy. Mentally, emotionally, yes. Pay attention to the things around you, yeah. Pay attention to the feelings you're going through, yes. It is all a process. You feel emotionally betrayed, you feel mentally betrayed as well. You feel, because a lot of promises that have been made uh, are not worked upon by your partner. So you're seeing a different side to things. Yeah, There are times when you think clearly and there are, there are times when you're a bit muddy in your thoughts. So whatever it is, it's time for you to choose wisely on your path moving forward with this person. Because I see there's a time in the future where you'll be thinking that Oh yes, you know, you do love them and everything and perhaps it will be easier for you <laughs> to go back to this person and find success in this relationship instead of exploring your path forward. Now, this is your call. Yeah, Whatever you do, it is your call. It's how you feel. If you feel pulled towards the person and you feel as though it's the right moment and things can be worked out between the both of you, yes. It is your call, okay? You know your person truly. This is a general reading. So if you feel as though uh, things can be worked out and you both are able to come to terms with the previous conflict and discuss and talk about it and clear the air, yeah, and move on together in harmony, yes, that would be a good decision. But if you feel when you meet up with your person again, with all these good feelings you have inside of you for them, and then you're confronted with something else, then maybe you should think about it before moving forward with them, right? So, let's see moving ahead. Moving ahead, I can see your person, yeah? <laughs> oh. Give me a minute. There you go. Right, so let me explain this to you. So, 
at the end of the day, yeah, as it's coming to the end of the reading, after you're going up and down, up and down in your emotions, it's a part of the healing process, you're preparing over here, it's a part of the preparation process for change. You're moving ahead in your truth. But sometimes down the line, I can see you, yeah, in the future, like oscillating, maybe you should give them a chance, maybe, you know, it's a better option to stay with this person than to go into the unknown and stuff like that. But in the future, I can see, it becomes very clear to you that your person is a very sneaky person, yeah? Nothing's going to change. In fact, they are going to leave you high and dry. <laughs> While you're here on your side, thinking about, um, you know, this long-term commitment and finding success and love with this person and everything, this person, it's a prediction, is going to leave you high and dry, yeah? No matter how much they feel about you, at one point over here, when they go inwards, yeah, they are going to do what they feel is best for them, self-serving. And because they feel there's too much conflict even, they're taking the easy way out, yeah? They're moving away from you because they have too many dark secrets within them and they would rather sacrifice this relationship with you rather than, you know, speak about their dark secrets. So they're getting, they feel as though it's easier to walk away from this relationship than to have this talk, much needed talk or much needed discussion with you in order to move this relationship forward. You see, you are two oppo opposing uh, mindsets, two opposing feelings. Towards the future, you're going to feel like, yeah, maybe it might work out, maybe. You know, you have those happy feelings coming inside of you, while as for your person, they are not feeling the same. They feel as though it's better to start new somewhere else. They're taking their secrets away with them. This might come as a shock to you towards the end of the month. Huh? Or towards the end of this process, but it is time for change. You were warned about change. You, you felt it in the air. You felt it within you. Change was coming. That's why the universe was preparing you. There's someone around you, spiritually, helping you out. Yes? Preparing you. Intuitively, you know there's change coming. But then you're oscillating with your feelings. It's a part of the healing process. No judgment here. Okay? When you're going through the healing process, it is normal. Yeah? In the beginning, you may be angry and upset and this and that. But then there's a phase where you think about the good times and, you know, you have no memories of the bad that really draw you, through you apart. Yes, and then you feel it's perhaps right to be back together rather than going to the unknown. Yes, but it's for your, it's for your best, yeah, that this has happened in your life. It is for a reason. This reason will be revealed to you later on in life. You will get to know about it, yes? There's some secret this person is holding that is not really going to suit you well in your future and that's why the universe has stepped in and decided it's time for you to part ways and it's time for you to go on a brand new journey on your own, yes? And into the future, okay? They have kind of, uh, because this card is sitting here, yeah. They have kind of, your karma has been paid with this person. Yeah, there's a few karma cards here. Your karma has been paid with this person. Yeah, karmic debts have been paid of whatever had to do with this person during your previous lifetimes or this lifetime as well. And you're clear, you've been purified, yes? So, you're on a brand new path ahead. And I'm sending blessings your way because it is going to be beautiful. Yeah, you're going to feel light. Yeah, there's going to be success. I can just tell you intuitively and speaking through my whatever abilities. <laughs> Don't go too much into it. But I can tell you when this setting is here on my table, yeah, you are bound for success. But for that to happen, you have to go through the healing process. Hmm? After this, there's going to be a bit a few more phases you have to go through and then you see your life is just going to take off. You are already, already being led onto that path. 
Okay, so my Cosmo Ball solution cancellation looks like good news will be on your way. Even though you're going through a heartbreaking situation at the moment, it is going to lead you towards success in your life. Okay, ahead. So let's see what soul's journey advice you have here. It says your humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Isn't that true? You choose to focus on the lighter side of life, darling. Because everything over here is happening for a reason. Okay? And Archangel Michael is saying to spend more time outdoors. So please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Yes, I see you will be exploring yeah, the esoterics because you're going through an awakening phase and it has gained your attention. Yes, so it is going to be a process. It's not going to be an easy process, but it is going to be a much revealing process and it's going to get you a lot of experience. Yeah, which you're going to be using further down in life. So, my darling, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Cancer oh, and Aquarius. Yes, there's a few other signs on the table. There's Aries, Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius is here, Libra, Libra is here, Pisces. Yes. This could be a few of the signs you could be dealing with, or they could have these signs prominent in their chart. So, my darling, Cusp of Oscillation, I hope this reading resonated with you. It may not resonate, resonate with you every month, yes, because I could be picking on any energy that is very uh, coming through very strong at the moment. So, if this, uh, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And until we meet again, my darlings, I love you. Take care. God bless.